and that it bit them and I was concerned that the snake would be killed. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Black Friday vlog for you. We went to five different pet shops, I think. PetSmart, Petco, Tropical World Pets, Pet Supplies Plus, and Petsway. Five on Black Friday to look for the best deals and just to see what was on sale. As you can see, I did get a few things. So come along onto this journey. I'll insert the footage here and then we can talk about what I actually got and also kind of discuss this new animal. Okay, let's get started. So it is Black Friday. We are at Petsway. We're just going around to different pet shops and kind of seeing like what sales there are, maybe looking for things, not really sure. So let's kind of look around. Complete guinea pig kit. Nah. So we have 50% off all reptiles and we also have 25% off this very pretty veiled chameleon. Here's some agua blue iguanas. Oh wow, 50% off these guys. The true fire skink. It's a really cool looking skink. There is a bearded dragon back there. There's some chunky crusties. So that is really cheap. Cool, so this is actually stuff that we need and will use on sale, of course. Guppies. So unfortunately none of this is on sale, which is what I was hoping. I love these, these are so cute. Okay, so what I'm really looking for at all these pet stores is discounted, on sale, Eagle Earth, Aspen, hamster bedding. So far, none of them have had it except Petco had some hamster bedding for cheaper than usual. But I mean, it wasn't like extreme. Like I'm looking for something like 50% off. I don't know. I haven't seen any crazy deals thus far. that fall bedding I had which is on sale so it looks like all their small pet bedding is buy one get one half off all their little hamsters and stuff are on sale red and green and then the red and green bedding that's so cute oh my gosh what is going on in there I really like their setups actually these are like really cool except that that's not good Oh, this is awesome. Hamster toys are like, yes. It, I, they're like all on sale. I want, I think, do I, I think I want the plastic one. Yeah. I'm gonna get her this, I think. I want this. Yeah, that is cool. Whoa, that's cool. So this is on sale for $11. And then this is really cool. It's a little hideout for like $5 for four. So, this is only $8, and you get a ton of tubes. That's really tempting. Yeah, I was looking at that. Like, well, these are terrible, but if you, like, say, like, you buy, so, like, if you have a bin cage and then you connect one of these, like, that's totally fine. And also, they have this, like, bus.
dollar per gallon. This is all um, 50% off. Okay, all right, this is on sale. Very nice. And forest floor for the snakes. And Aspen. So, Care Fresh, small animal bedding, buy one, get one free. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now let's talk about this new snake that I got. So basically, I saw somebody post photographs of it online. They said that they found it in their basement and that it bit them. And I was concerned that the snake would be killed if I didn't go get it. So I was able to ID it for her as a Midland Brown snake. They actually have a couple different common names, but they are totally harmless and they are super tiny. So this is actually an adult. And as you see in this footage, I was actually having Having somebody check it for mites. Anyway, I was originally just taking the snake to find it somewhere to go because I didn't really have any intentions on getting another snake. But the more research I did on these guys, the more I learned and really wanted to keep it. So I decided that we would go ahead and give it a go. I know several that have kept them with success. They kind of gave me some tips. Currently, I am housing it in an extra large critter keeper on paper towels. I'm only doing this temporarily to monitor it since it was wild. I wanted to make sure it doesn't have any parasites or mites or anything like that. But don't worry because I will be putting its permanent enclosure together soon, which will consist mostly of eco-earth, moss, cork, and a lot of substrate to bury themselves in. Now you might be wondering what a snake so tiny eats, and the answer is earthworms and other soft-bodied insects. So this snake doesn't really eat rodents at all. It's super Super small so we've been feeding it earthworms and it's taken a few so that's a good sign but I do plan on doing an all my pets video very soon and once I do that I should have its permanent enclosure ready and I can keep you guys updated and show you guys how it is going then so as for what we picked up from the Black Friday haul, I got two bags of Carefresh. It was buy one, get one free. I also got some Eco Earth for about $7 as opposed to $10 and some Forest Floor for $7, which is also usually $10. We also got two bags of Aspen Snake Bedding, which is usually about $10, $11 each, and I paid seven each. That was all at Pet Supplies Plus. Also, I got my hamster this really cute little seesaw, which I've been looking at for a while. Usually it's about $6. I paid two at PetSmart. And I also got her this cute little popcorn chew with loofahs for 99 cents. All right, so like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget that I'm an Instagram that I use probably way too much as at You can go follow me there, and I will see you guys soon.